heart went We know for sure that Laplace transform is an alternative to differential equation solving DEs. Therefore, we need to understand how do we transform derivatives because differential equations contain differentials or derivatives. So, according to the general formula, to take the Laplace transform of the nth derivative of a function of t, that would be equivalent to s raised to n where n is the same as the order of the derivative. So if you have here second derivative, this will be s raised to 2. f of s, what is f of s? f of s is of course the Laplace transform of the original or the initial value pr problem given to us or the orig original function given to us transformed into a subsidiary equation f of s. So we'll have s raised to n, same with the order of the derivatives multiplied by f of s, the Laplace transform of the original function minus s raised to n minus 1, which means, babawasan lang natin yung exponent ni s ng isa, it will be multiplied with f of 0, where f of 0 means the original function f of t, where t is replaced by 0. Okay, minus. So, we're going to continue subtracting 1 from the exponent of s until we reach s raised to 0. So, ito yung parang um, palatandaan natin to know kung kailan tayo titigil, ano? Kapag nawala na yung s. Because s raised to 0 is simply equivalent to 1. So, pag naubos natin yung exponent ni s or naubos natin si s, that will be the time that it would be our last expression. And as you can see here, the last expression s raised to 0 is multiplied, which is 1, is multiplied to f n derivative minus 1, n minus 1 derivative of 0. So, kung ito ay second derivative, matatapos tayo sa first derivative, n minus 1, mas mababa ng isa dun sa order ng given. While your s um, starts with the same order of the derivative, babawasan natin siya ng babawasan until it reaches s raised to 0 or until it is 1. So, ang sequence natin for the function is that we'll start with the Laplace transform of the original function f of s and then we'll get f of 0 the value of the original function with the independent equivalent to 0. After this, it will be followed by the derivatives in increasing order. So it would be f prime of 0, f double prime of 0, f triple prime of 0, until one of them, until one of them is paired with an s raised to, re to 0. That means we're going to um, end our formula with that. Okay, so let's try. Let's say we're solving for the Laplace transform of f prime of t, which means it's the first derivative. So, kung first derivative ito, ibig sabihin, magsisimula tayo with s raised to 1. Same order. So, kung 1 to, 1 din yung exponent natin for s, and then it will be multiplied with the Laplace transform of the original function given f of s. So, tatandaan nyo ha, ang sequence, f of s, f of 0, and then the derivatives in increasing order. And then, they will all be multiplied by a variable s, that starts with the same order as the given derivative pababa while um, subtracting 1 from it. Okay, until we reach s raised to 0 or 1 times a derivative lesser in order than the given by a value of 1 or 1 order lesser. So we'll have here s, so first derivative to s, 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 f of s. Minus, the exponent of s will be deducted by 1, so we'll get s raised to 0. I'll not write that down, since 1 naman yun. Where s raised to 0 accompanied by 1 lesser derivative than the given. So, if this is f prime of t, we'll end with f of 0. Diba? Yung uno sa f prime of t, diba? Original equation nyo, which is so f of 0, and as I have told you kanina, ang sequence ay f of s, f of 0, and then the derivatives. Okay, so let's have the plus transform of f double prime of t, so we can get a hand of this. Para mas ma ma para masanay tayo on how we're going to write down the formula when we transform derivatives. Ano po? So this is second derivative, which means we'll start with s squared. And then multiply it by the Laplace transform of the original function, which is f of s. After that, it will be followed by an S term deducted by 1 from the previous term. So, S raised to 1, 2 minus 1, 1, multiplied by, anong kasunod na F of S? F of 0. 
Okay, after that, minus, babawasan ko to ng isa in its exponent, you'll get s raised to 0, which means ito na yung last term natin. So, I'm not gonna write down s raised to 0 anymore. After this, it should be followed by the derivative. So, we'll start with the first one. Where the first derivative is, yon, One derivative lesser than the second. If that's right to say it. Parang ganun. Okay, let's try Laplace transform of third derivative of time or f triple prime of t, which means we'll start with s raised to 3 and then multiply it to f of s and then continue subtracting 1 from the exponent of s you'll get here s squared and then s and then 1 where s squared will be multiplied by f of 0 this will be multiplied by f prime of 0 and the last term will be 1 times f double prime of 0 kung nagigets nyo na sequence you get s cubed, s squared, s and then s raised to 0 and then for the function, it will be f of s, f of 0, and then the derivatives in increasing order, f prime, f double prime. Lastly, oh, let's try the Laplace transform of the fourth derivative of t, which means that would be s to the fourth, s cubed, s squared, s raised to 1, until we get our last term here. So we have s to the fourth paired with f of s, minus s cubed paired with f of 0, minus s squared paired with the derivative na f prime of 0, minus s times f double prime of 0, which means we end up with f triple prime of 0. Kagaya na sabi dito, ang last function mo dapat ay one order lesser than the given derivative. And this is how we write the Laplace transforms of our derivative. So, make sure that you understand what this what these notations stand for, okay? This means the original function f of t will be replaced where the independent variable is t and t will be replaced by 0. You're going to solve it and substitute it here. You'll get the first derivative of t, substitute t with 0, and then you'll substitute your answer here. And so on. So let's have an example. So we're being asked here to find the Laplace transform of the fourth derivative of t where t, or if f of t, is equivalent to the expression cosine 4t. So, first thing is, identify the formula. So, our formula is the Laplace transform of the fourth derivative of t means, this is s to the fourth, f of s minus s cubed f of 0 minus s squared f prime of 0 minus s f double prime of 0 minus last na f triple prime of 0 so why do i have to write this down first because we have to understand what functions we need in the formula so i need an f of s which means it is the laplace transform of f of t so if f of t is equivalent to cosine of 40. Taking the Laplace transform of f of t gives us f of s, which means f of s is simply equivalent to Laplace transform of cosine 40, where cosine 40 represents cosine kt, right? Pag cosine kt, the solution is s over s squared plus k squared, where k equals 4. So, 4 squared, that means it is 16. So, this will be our f of s. We will substitute it here. So, that's why it's important to write down the formula first so you know what functions you need. Okay, what else? We need an f of 0. Diba? We need the function, the original function f of t, where t will be replaced with 0, which means we need cosine 4 times 0. So, it means 0 here is a radian value, which shows we are solving for cosine of a 0 radian value. And that is simply equivalent to 1. Cosine of 0 is 1. Okay, after that, what else do we need? We need f prime of 0. But before we can do that, we solve for f prime of t first. Kukunin daw natin first derivative ni t. So, the first derivative of cosine is simply negative sign. So, we get negative sine theta d theta, derivative of the angle. 
So, the derivative of the angle with respect to T is 4. So, we get negative 4 sine, 4 theta. Okay, after that, ano kailangan talaga natin? Ang kailangan talaga natin, F prime of 0, which means, yung kinuha mong first derivative, sa substitute mo ngayon ng 0, yung T natin dito. And that shows you get negative 4 sine of 4 times 0. Sine of 0 is 0. Times negative 4 gives you 0. Which shows, if f prime of 0 is 0, itong expression na to magiging 0 na yan. Pag sinubstitute natin magmaya. So we have f double prime of t. So we take the derivative of this one to get the second derivative. And that gives us, the derivative of sine is cosine. Cosine. The derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. Derivative of theta. So, the derivative of this is 4 again, multiplied by negative 4. So, we get negative 16. And then, we actually need f double prime of 0. So, ganun ulit. We simply substitute 0 to t. This will be negative 16 cosine 4 times 0. We know that cosine 4 times 0 is 1, or cosine 0 is 1, times negative 16, which means we get negative 16 as an answer. And then, last na kasi, hanggang dito lang naman tayo. So, we have to, we have to solve f triple prime of t, which shows we get to take the derivative of this one. So, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Therefore, I, if I have negative sine times negative, that makes my answer positive. So, we'll get positive sine theta. Derivative of theta is 4 times the coefficient we previously had. So, 16 times 4, that gives us 64. And then, we solve for the um, third derivative where t is 0. So, we have 64 sine 4 times 0. But, sine 0 is 0. Times 64 gives us 0 pa rin. Okay. So, we're going to use what values? I'm going to use this one, this, at itong tatlo. To substitute in this formula. So, therefore, the Laplace transform of the fourth derivative of the given function t is simply equivalent to s to the fourth multiplied by f of s, where f of s is simply s over s squared plus 16 minus s cubed times f of 0. f of 0 is equivalent to 1 minus s squared times f prime of 0, f prime of 0 is 0, minus s times f double prime of 0 is equivalent to negative 16. And lastly, we have minus f triple prime of 0, where f triple prime of 0 is 0. And then after that, we simplify. This will be equivalent to s to the 5th, right? s to the 4th times s is s to the 5th over s squared plus 16. Minus s cubed, this is 0, this is 0, plus 16s. After this, we'll simplify this expression and see if we can arrive with the single um, expression only instead of three terms. Okay, so we're going, if we're going to simplify this one, let me just take an LCD na lang. So we get... A common denominator, s squared plus 16, divide s squared plus 16 times s to the 5th, that gives us s to the 5th pa rin, minus s squared plus 16, divide 1 times s cubed, so that gives you s cubed times s squared plus 16, plus 16s times, so s squared plus 16, divide 1 times 16s, that's 16s times, s squared plus 16, okay. Afterwards, let me expand the, the, the numerator. So, we'll get s to the 5th minus, I'll distribute, minus s to the 5th minus 16s cubed. Okay, we distribute this here. So, plus 16s cubed and then plus 16 squared is 256s over s squared plus 16. Hmm. Tapos you'll notice there are terms that will be cancelled. So this will be cancelled. This is cancelled. You'll be left with 256s na lang. So it's important to us, for us to simplify because kagaya niyan. From, six, from three terms, you're able to simplify to just one fraction. 
So, this is the Laplace transform of the fourth derivative of cosine 40. If we want to check, our f of t is cosine 40. Okay. Our f prime of t is negative 4 sine 40. Right? Our second derivative of f of t is simply negative 16 cosine 40. And our third derivative of t is simply equivalent to, so, 64 sine 40. And then I'm going to solve until the fourth derivative. Tapos yung fourth derivative ang ilalaplas transform ko. So, this will be equivalent to cosine 4. So, cosine ang sagot natin. So, 4 times 64, that will give us 256. Di ba? Yes, 256 cosine of 40. Tapos, itong, itong 256 cosine of 40, ang ilalaplas transform ko. So, if I take Laplace transform of f, the uh, fourth derivative of t, that means I'll take Laplace transform of the right side. And that gives us the constant 256, eh, 256 multiplied by the Laplace transform of cosine 40, which is s all over s squared plus k squared, which is 16. And which shows you this is the same answer we did with previously. Okay. So, baka mamaya magtaka kayo, mo, ba't nyo pa pinahaba yung solution using the Laplace transform of derivatives when we can do this naman pala? Because... With differential equations, di ba, hindi naman normally binibigay yung original or initial val, I mean, the original function given. We're not always given f of t. Because if it is a differential equation, ang laman lang niya na y double prime minus 3y prime equal to e raised to 4x, mga ganyan, di ba? So, ito, we just did this to show you that the formula of the Laplace transform of derivatives will arrive at the same answer. So, if you want me, I can show you um, a transformation of a differential equation. Okay, so we have here a linear differential equation that we're going to transform by Laplace transform. So what we're going to do here is take the Laplace transform of both sides, so which means this will be the Laplace transform of y double prime minus 4y prime minus 5y should be equivalent to the Laplace transform of e raised to 3x. So dito, nag-iba yung itsura, di ba? Kasi previous... Um, the general formula for the Laplace transform of derivative simply uses f of t. Okay, and this is y. And we know that y is equivalent to, we know that y is equivalent to f of x. So this time, the variable changes from t, naging x siya. But still, if you're going to take the Laplace transform of y, which is equivalent to the Laplace transform of f of x, it could show us f of s pa rin because the same independent variable should be transformed to the subsidiary equation that we have, which is f of s. Or, for the purpose of differentiating f of t with y, gawin natin tong y of s. Okay lang ba? Ganun din naman yun eh. Ginamit ko lang ito. Yung dependent variable dun sa, sa equation, the original equation that this might be belong, that this might belong to. So, we have to replace. So, unahin natin to. If I'm going to take the Laplace transform of y double prime, or second derivative, that means it's s squared, di ba? s squared multiplied by y of s. Right? The Laplace transform of the original um, function. Minus s times y of 0. Minus y prime of 0, right? This is your Laplace transform for second derivative. And then minus. So, ganun lang gagawin natin. We simply take the Laplace transform of each term. So, minus 4 times y prime. So, paano natin i-Laplace transform si y prime? y prime starts with s. Um, s y of s. Minus f of 0. And then you have minus 5y. So, the Laplace transform minus 5 times the Laplace transform of y. The Laplace transform of y is simply y of s or y s. Okay, equals. So, equals 
the Laplace transform of e raised to 3x, which is the same as e raised to 80. Na iba lang yung variable, pero same lang po yan. So, for the Laplace transform of um, e raised to 80, that's equivalent to 1 all over s minus a, right? s minus a, where a is equivalent to 3. So, simplifying, paano natin isi-simplify? Hindi pala binigay. So, yun. Ang gagawin nyo na lang dito next is, of course, the, di ba, initial value problems to. So, your differential equations will give you parameters or initial values for the differential equation. So, let's say, um, at, let's say, at x equal to 0, y is equal to 0. And let's say, at x equal to 0, y prime is equivalent to 3. So, most likely, the differential equations will give you initial set, initial values or initial sets of points. Ano ka po? So, ang sabi dito, if x is equivalent to 0, y is simply equivalent to 0. Which means, ito, di ba, ibig sabihin ito, your dependent y of s, which means f of x. So, if the function is, uh, if the function's independent variable, which is x, is replaced by 0, y of 0, y becomes 0. So, ito, 0 na siya. Because of this statement, this is already zero. Ay, sorry, y of zero pala to. Which shows na zero din ito. Okay, next to that is, if we set x equal to zero, ang first derivative daw ay equal to 3. Which means, pag kinuha mo si first derivative at nireplace mo si x ng zero, ang magiging sagot ay 3. And that shows your y prime of zero. So, I'm going to replace this by 3. So, if you simplify, you'll get um, s squared y of s. This is 0 already. Minus 3. Minus 4. s y of s. Minus 5 y of s. Equal to 1 over s minus 3. And that's it. This is your the, this is the Laplace transform of these derivatives. So since we're not yet solving differential equations, so I will not continue this yet. We will learn this in the next videos. But I just showed you how to take the Laplace transform of derivatives. Mm -hmm.